going on people so I thought I'd do this video just to really help you guys understand what to expect from a channel like Traders Reality what what is it that you're going to get from me as someone who's trying to introduce to you the concept of trading from a market makers point of view how am I going to help you realize how to react to certain instances okay the first thing I will say I ain't going to give you any financial advice if I want to give you fish to eat for the day I'll set up a signal service and then life will be so much easier and I wouldn't have to communicate with you guys I wouldn't have to do the live streams I just tell you where price is to go long and where you need to go to go short simple thing and that's and that's how the industry is. A lot of people do that. I want to show you guys how to eat for yourselves. Right? This is my paying back. This is me paying forward. This is me trying to understand more about how I trade. You know? So let's go to charts. From the methodology that we use. All right, we all understand that there's a set of criteria that needs to be fulfilled before anyone even considers making an entry. What is it that you hear me talk about all the time? confirmation confirmation all the time all right for example we know that w formations appear at moving averages okay is this a pro you know is this a successful w formation of course it is why because price formed a low here and started coming out of the zone your entry point would have been simply here right there because you guys would have seen enough of those W's. If you haven't, my advice is that you go back and watch the previous streams. I talk about this all the time. So price goes in. Market makers move in threes. One, two, three. Three pushes to the high. Yeah? Comes and forms the high up here. Retraces back. We anticipate a retrace. Continuation to the upside. That's exactly what happened, but we got shook out. Market makers brought price back down to test the 200 day. Is that the first retrace? Or is this the genuine retrace right here? Notice price is still staying within its parameters of the peak formation. There's nothing wrong with this. Market makers move in threes. One red candle, two red candles, three. Aggressive move to the downside, fails to close any lower. Market makers have absorbed the liquidity, return price back up, pin to the low, pin to the low, pin to the low. What you have to understand with this strategy, guys, is this. And I keep saying it. Nothing is static. People are saying, you know, do you draw the W's from the pick, from the wicks or from the bodies? It doesn't matter. Find the pattern. The pattern is going to be variable. It's going to be have more than one vector candle. It might not have any vector candles at all. All right. We know that price does something at a moving average because the moving averages are the bases. That's where the market makers like to develop their positions. And then they move away from those areas. Look. The last time there was a W formation made, all right, look at this W formation. W formation at the 800 day EMA, price moves out. Come back, we've got another W formation right here. Pay attention. Drop, rise, drop, continuation to the upside. Rise, retrace, continuation to the upside. You can see that W there. There is no way to say that in when, when price is rising, you can behave one way and when price is dropping, you behave another. Your goal as traders is to be adaptable, I'm giving you the mental framework and I'm giving you the structure that will allow you, that allows you to effectively realize a return when you apply it optimally. The purpose of these streams is not just to give you this system and then it works straight away for you. Granted, it does for some. Okay. But what you really need to focus on is how do you behave when it's time to translate what you understand about the charts into money? That's the key thing. You are right? Okay. Understand this. Right now, where is Bitcoin? Well, it's a Sunday. Who gives a shit? We're not trading Sundays. We don't trade Saturdays or Sundays. I, have, I don't care what happens at the weekend i really don't care because the money's not coming in i'm not seeing the market make a movement all right if it drops down and collapses no problem for me whatsoever why because when i come to the charts i'm going to reevaluate i'm going to say right okay so what's the story now tell me what i need to know 
you know, when you see the guy walking into the office and he's got all the people got ready to come at him with all questions. He's come from a weekend, no one bothers him. He walks in and then he says, tell me what I need to know. What's been going on? What, what's going, you know, tell me the story. Yeah, no different to when a detective turns up or a police officer turns up to this crime, scene of a crime and he says, what do I need to know? It's exactly what it is. This is how you should see the charts. When you come to these charts on a Monday, all right, you say to yourself, okay, what do I need to know? What has Price done over the weekend? The mistake that a lot of people are making is they think that because, you know, you can trade cryptocurrency 24 hours a day, it means you have to be responsive 24 hours a day. Fuck that. You can't. I mean, I've been streaming nonstop 16 hours a day near enough for the past six weeks. I'm blown out. So how are you meant to really understand, um, you know, maintain focus if you're expecting to see a position play out just because the market's 24 hours a day? Don't do it. So what if you can trade at the weekends? Granted, you know, do it over 100 weeks, 100 weeks, weekends, sorry, all right? And then tell me where you are. Some people have said that their most profitable times are at the weekends. Happy days, whatever suits you, okay? But if we're talking about the 3% that do well, I need to be focusing on the 97% that are not. Stop trying to think that you need to make money in this game. You don't. You just need to know how to do it. That's all. And you learn by doing it small. If you're pressurizing yourself to trade, stop trading. Honestly. Come to the lives, you know, take what you can, but do not trade if you are having to put pressure on yourself to trade. More importantly is this. If you're an investor or you are a holder, transitioning over to becoming a trader is a big move. You're used to letting things play out. You've got the best patience. But do you? Because when you're a holder, you don't really pay attention to price. Therefore, you're not really exposing yourself to the emotional swings that a trader would experience. But when you step into Trader's Ville, when you step into the arena with the traders, the guys that want to make money now, you then get sucked into it. A holder is someone who's not at the charts all the time. He knows that over the longer term, he's going to realize a return based on the portfolio that he carries. A trader doesn't think like that. He looks at what's happening now. And if he can take anything from now in the next two, three hours, he takes it. He doesn't become a, an investor as a trader. And an investor shouldn't become a trader as an investor. Do you understand? These are all the things that, you know, go through people's minds. Why? Because they've been through mine. I'm telling you. This game, you need to just, you have to detach from it. Let's look at it like this. Say you have a million pounds in your bank, right? And you go to an ATM and you withdraw that million pounds. You try and withdraw money from that, um, from that ATM. It's not your ATM, but you can withdraw money from that ATM. Are you going to be at that ATM all the time? No. Why not? Because you've got the luxury of going to another ATM. You've got the luxury of withdrawing it somewhere else. All right? You don't have to be at that ATM. And that's the same with trading. You don't always have to be in a trade. You don't always have to be in a trade in Ethereum. You don't always have to be in the market. All right? You don't have to do it to yourself. You don't always have to be making money. If you're in this position where you have to be earning from trading, you ain't going to survive, bro. It ain't going to work for you. Because you're going to be making everything purely on an emotional basis. Now, I don't know if that analogy worked too well, but you get the idea. What I'm trying to get at is you don't have to always be placing trades. You don't always have to put pressure on yourself to understand what happens when price is rising, what happens when price is dropping. All right. I don't care that Bitcoin has come away from here. Who gives a fuck? I don't care. All I know right now is I see notable volume at the 200 day moving average. Tr price has come back down and taken yesterday's low. And now it's trying to trail upwards. All right. You may be going on YouTube and you're seeing guys talking about, you know, Bitcoin's going to crash. Every, you know, they need you to click on their advert. They need you to click on their thumbnail so they can get paid. I'm going to do the same thing just to get you to come into my stream. Do you know? That's how it works. It's the nature of the game. 
Now, I do my very hardest to make sure that none of my thumbnails are clickbaity, but you get the idea. All right, they're gonna, uh, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna try and frighten you because you are in the, on the, you're in the situation where you need to understand something. So you're gonna go with the person who you believe has the right idea. Well, if Bitcoin has been progressively going upwards and then you see one guy saying Bitcoin's gonna crash, you're gonna go there and say, hold on a second, if everyone's talking about it rising, why is he talking about it dropping? Yeah? Come away from that bullshit, guys. You don't need it. Come away from it. They do a very good job of making you pay attention to what others are saying and not paying attention to what we call price. It's so important. Am I still in line with my projections? Of course I am. You know? I mean, look, pin to the high one, two, I'm expecting Bitcoin to hit it another third time. Go rise to the upside. 70K in sight? Of course it is. Why? I understand the cycle. I understand the cycle. Price can collapse all the way down here. It wouldn't even bother me. Why? Because I'll get ready to set up for shorts. Could this be one massive M? Who knows? We'll only know if it's a massive M if, a massive M if it breaks down. Right now, I don't need to be worrying about that. I've always got something ready for my, for my decision. I've always got that artillery. I'm ready to make a decision based on what price is showing me. I'm not going to waste time guessworking. Right, because guys that are trading zones, they're guessworking. Is he going to hit here? Is he going to get hit here? So, what do I need to do? Okay, so if price does break down, Bitcoin will need to break down past this point here. If it does break down, this is what will have to happen. Drops down, right? Rises. Continuation to the downside. We trade it off like that. We look at the previous levels of where they where she could go. We look down here. I can see a notable interest in that area down there. Could have some areas interest at this area here. All right. If that happens, happy days. If it doesn't, we then look at where Bitcoin could go to the upside. So right now, till Bitcoin breaks this area here, the 53, I don't care about anyone talking to me about shorts. You could see an M formation. Yeah, no problem. All right. But right now, I'm looking at the W formation. I'm looking at what they're doing. Are they buying or are they selling? What are they trying to induce traders to believe? If they're trying to get traders to believe it's going to go to the downside, what do we understand about that? We know that they're trying to buy longs. They're trying to get longs filled at lower prices. What did I say to you about what market makers do below key areas? The key area right here is the 60K mark. Tapped it once, tapped it again, okay, and pulled back. Look what they've done here. Tapped it here, pulled back, yeah? The moving averages are pretty much flat. Nothing has crossed over yet. 50 day just literally came and bounced over. Nothing's crossed over. We're still in the move to the upside. Stop trying to make yourself think that you need to know what's going to happen next. You don't. I'm giving you two scenarios here, guys. And I can sleep at night. Right? I can sleep really well. Because I take what the market gives. When the market shows me it's going to the upside, I'm going to trade it. When it drops to the downside, I'm in. Stop putting pressure on yourselves to have to know. You don't. And the sooner you come to that realization, that's when you start becoming consistent. Because every decision that you make is going to be based on X, on the certain variables that you understand. And you then understand that you can't do nothing about it when the trade is live. You come to an acceptance, right? Right now, people are trying to come to an acceptance without even placing a fucking trade. Wow. <laughs> you know, you are putting yourselves through mental torture like that. Where's Bitcoin going to go? Is it going to go up or is it going to go down? I need to know. I need to know. No, you don't. You've just got a trigger finger that you want to get out there. You want to start exercising it. The weekend's here, you know, and you really want to get trading because you feel like you're missing out. You're seeing people posting profits all over the place. You feel like you are missing out. No, you're not missing out, dude. You know, you're not missing out. And if you think you are missing out, don't trade. Because you're going through a psychological battle with yourself. You are going through an emotional game of tennis. It's back and forth, back and forth, right? You need to like, say to yourself, you know what? I'm happy. I can close my charts. I don't care. I challenge anyone. I challenge anyone. Friday, 5 p.m. GMT, you know, Eastern Standard Time. 
you know, wherever you are in the world. Close your charts, all right? Do not even look at the charts until Monday morning, 9 a.m. I know I say I don't trade Mondays, but I'm just giving you a challenge. Let's see if you can do it. Can you completely disconnect from trading? Even as a holder, can you completely disconnect? I know I can. Because when I had to, when I came to understand this, I needed to stay away from trading. Can you completely shut off? Not even talk about trading. Not even be in the Discord. Fuck it. That's what I mean. Can you completely disconnect? All right? Because if you can disconnect, you are in control. That means your decisions are controlled. If you're not in control and you're itching, you're itching, you're trying to understand how to behave in one way or another, you're now entering into the emotional game of trading. And that is something that I can help you with. But I need you to take responsibility in the first place. If you take all the previous streams, granted they are long and I'm trying to get that sorted out with Mike so we take out the key bits. But if you really want to understand how to manage the way you behave when it comes to trading, there's a whole playlist called It's All In The Mind. Go back over it and listen to it. Forex crypto stocks, it's the same shit. Emotionally, you are all going to be making decisions on a certain set of variables. You're going to feel emotional because of a certain priorities and motives for coming into trading. Okay? Now, I want this video to go out to everyone. Everyone needs to understand this. All right? I've got an interest in all of you succeeding at this game. I wouldn't do this all these hours sitting in front of a chart. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd be doing that anyway because that's what I do. I just sit and look at charts all the time. That's my me time. That's how I relax. You know, that's how it works for me. I put myself in front of the charts. It's giving me a, st I'm reading a continuous story by the market makers. I'm away from the chaos. I just look at what they're showing me. Okay? Cool. Let me know what your thoughts are, guys.